think of the, the hustle plays, rebounding, and, and defense for you guys and how that really impacted the outcome of the game? Yeah, I mean, our guys competed uh, like crazy, and so did, so did their, their guys, obviously. I mean, it's just you know, basketball at its highest level, um, along with competition at the highest level. So it's, uh, it's intense out there, and uh, both teams are just fighting for everything. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a great way to, for us to start the series. Uh, because uh, as hard as we played, we didn't play uh, that intelligently. And our guys know that. And we've got some things to clean up uh, before game two. But a good start. Third row, middle. Coach Cole. Or, uh, Tony Harvey, Sacramento Observer. Um, well, Houston, four of starters have 36 or more minutes. But your players, 37 or more, 34 or more minutes. And with uh, Kevin playing 43, were you prepared for a game like this after uh, Make a turnover for Friday night. Um, prepared for for, for your starters to play this many minutes. Oh, prepared for our starters to play this many minutes. Uh, yeah, you know this is the uh, so playoffs. We uh, we try to pace our guys all season, but you know you get to the playoffs, you got to do what you got to do, and uh, so we. Uh, you know, I know we we ran Kevin and uh, Clay. Um, extra uh, minutes we, we, we gave them you know five six minutes more than we usually do but um, that's what you got to do you got to play your best players and uh, see what happens and we'll make them get rest for the next 48 hours steve tim calcomi the athletic right right over okay, here uh, when did you know for sure clay could go and i guess you didn't have any minutes restriction he's playing 40 minutes was there any sense that Okay, you might have to back off a little. And when did you know you didn't have? Uh, to? So Rick called me last night and said Clay had uh, had made improvement uh, yesterday evening, and then <coughs> he told me he was going to come in and warm up today. And after the warm up, Rick said he's good to go. I said, "Is there a minutes restriction?" And, and Rick said, "We'll just see how it goes during the game." So obviously Clay Clay did fine, and uh, you know in terms of the ankle. And I think you guys know just how competitive and how tough he is. Uh, he plays through everything. So hopefully uh, he turns out OK uh, you know, tonight, tomorrow, and is able to uh, continue to, to heal before the next game. Steve, uh, Joe Morgan, Sporting News. Harden had 35, but he did it on 9-28 shooting. Can you just talk about what you saw defensively from you guys on him? Well, I, th I thought our guys did a great job. Um, he's so hard to guard with that step back, with his ability to get to the rim. So you just have to do your best and try not to foul him. He got uh, 14 free throws, um, but uh, I'm, I couldn't be more happy with the effort, um, the focus. Uh, it's a five-man game when you're guarding James. It's not about just the one guy who's on him. The other four guys have to be in the right spots to help. And I thought our defense uh, was excellent tonight. What hurt our defense was our turnovers. You know, that stretch at the end of the uh, Second quarter, we had a 10 point lead, and then we go in at halftime tied because we had 13 turnovers. There's no, uh, there's no defense for you know transition shots off of turnovers, so that's what we've got to clean up. But you know, other than, than, than that, we made them fight for every open look. Second row, left hand side. Hi, Steve. Jamie McCauley from AP. Um, Draymond came up with several timely offensive rebounds. How much did his energy on both ends really kind of set a tone? For you guys. Yeah, Draymond was fantastic. Um, you know, that's uh, the last two games. Uh, you know, that's uh, that's the guy he is. You know, the emotion, the passion, the competitive desire, the brain. Uh, one of the smartest defenders I've ever seen. Um, so Draymond was uh, was a huge instrumental part of the win, no doubt. Second row is there. Hey, Steve. Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. Uh, what went into the decision to start? Iguodala, and did part of it have to do with changing up Clay's assignments at all because of the ankle? No, the decision to start Andre is just based on uh, playing against Houston. Uh, you know, you've got two of the best one-on-one -on -one and pick-and-roll players in the world in James and Chris, and uh, Andre is one of the best defenders in the world. So, um, you know, that's our best lineup. We, we uh, decided to start it just so we could have Andre out there defensively and uh, we'll probably do it again next next game. 
Coach, uh, Brian Bearfield, KYK Sports. You played with some of the best and against some of the best. Have you ever seen anybody have a great four game stretch like Kevin has had? There's this guy named Michael. So <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember his last name. <laughs> but no, Kevin's, uh, Kevin's run these last couple of weeks has just been off the charts. Um, he's, I, I've said it a few times this week, and he's the most skilled basketball player on earth. Um, you know, he's one of the most skilled basketball players to ever play the game. Um, there's never been anybody like him. 6'11", you know, handles ball, shoots threes, uh, passes, defends. Uh, he's, uh, he's just an unbelievable talent. <coughs> and uh, I think after we lost game two to the Clippers, I think uh, he just felt you know, like he just had to turn it up and, and lift us up another level, and that's exactly what he's done. Third row, right hand side. Uh, Steve Connor, Terno, San Francisco Chronicle. Kind of building off that, uh, most, the bulk of Durant's points came when it seemed like you guys really needed him in the third and fourth quarters. What can you say at this point about his awareness of giving you guys exactly what you need when you need it? Well, he's been around for a long time, and, and uh, you know, when you play in the playoffs, the shots get tougher and tougher. Regular season, it's a, it's it's almost two different games, you know, because everybody's prepared for everything. So it's just much harder to get a shot. So um, Kevin can get his own shot anytime he wants. It, it's what makes him so impossible to guard. So he he, he understands what we need from him, and uh, he's been delivering, you know, game after game. Stand back to left hand side. Coach Slogan, Murdoch, NBC Sports Bay Area. You talked about Harden's free throws. He has 14. Do you think that uh, when you go into a game, do you see it as inevitable that he will get to the line in a, a certain amount of time, or do you kind of want to get that down to a certain number of attempts? Uh, it, it's going to be tough to, to you know, keep him way down, but uh, I think when we watch the tape, we'll see some plays where we reached. And uh, you have to be very disciplined. Um, you know, he's so clever. Creating fouls, creating contact, um, and you have to be able to play, um, you know, without putting, putting your hand in the cookie jar. And uh, we did that a few times, but he's he's so good, he's going to get fouled, and he's going to get to the line no matter what you do. Right hand side, second row. C.J. Peterson, San Francisco Examiner. Steve, it seems like every one of these postseason games, Steph has been in foul trouble. Um, for one, how hard does that make your job as a coach, for as far as your rotations go? Um, and two, how do you fix that problem and kind of, you know, get him out of that habit of yeah. uh, reaching and getting those fouls? Um, well, when we were in L.A. and he picked up his fourth foul, I asked him, I said, uh, Steph, where's your mom? And he pointed up about ten rows behind the bench. And I looked up and made eye contact with Sonny and I said, tell him not to foul anymore. <laughs> so if his, if his mom can't get through to him, I'm definitely not. <laughs> so I'm going to maybe uh, maybe try Del this time. Try try Del. Front row center. Steve Mark, Medina Vera, and Israel. What was it like just handling a game where there's the constant stoppage of play with calls and you know both teams are disputing the nature of them? Didn't seem, it didn't seem any different to me than any, any other Game. I mean, it's a it's high level competitive stuff. You just keep going no matter what happens. And I, I didn't think it was. I didn't I didn't think of any stoppages in play. I just think that's that's how the game goes. Last one, right hand side, about six row back. Colin Ward, Henry, CBS Sports. Uh, you talked about the familiarity between these two teams. It seemed like at least in the first half, the game was a little choppy, a little hard to get going on both sides. Did you see that? And do you think that the familiarity had anything? Uh, yeah, you know we've we faced these guys three of the last four years in the playoffs. Um, obviously, last year a seven-game series, four more regular season games. So uh, both teams uh, know each other well. So um, it's going to be tough to to surprise anybody with a, with a strategy. Um, it's all about execution, and um, you know for us that's got to start with taking better care of the ball in game two. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.